So, it should be about TST. This is 2019, 3.1. Okay, so... First of all, I think the first thing that jumps out to me is that this is a... Uh, Okay, so co-prime probably might matter, but it's a polynomial thing, so <sighs> because the degree is so low, it feels like like second and third degree polynomial shouldn't actually be solvable in inter over integers in general unless something kind of special is going on. Um, I'm curious whether I can see, even see any integer solutions off my head. Okay, can, can can I get like a literally any example of a uh, non-trivial solution? I, I don't see one. Oh, 5, 2. Okay. 5, 2. Uh, I guess 1, 0, although technically it does say positive. Um, anything else I can find? Okay, in that case, I'm going to start with the proposition. Let's let x equals a minus b and y equals a plus b, I guess. And the reason is that right now it's degree 3 in both x and y, so I want to make massage it so that it's degree 3 in only one of the variables. So uh, if I multiply both sides by 4, then you'll get 4x cubed for the a minus b cubed. And then 4b is equal to uh, 2y minus x. And then a squared, four a squared is two a all squared, which is like x plus y all squared. I suppose. Which has the really terrible solution seven comma three, but you know it is what it is. So this is y squared plus something in y. The coefficient of y is two x plus one times y plus x squared minus two x. Yeah, so at this point, the reason you do this, right, is so that now I get a quadratic in y. And so this has an integer solution if and only if the discriminant is a perfect square. So, uh, 2x plus 1 squared minus 4x squared minus 2x times 4x cubed should be a square. What? Oh, jeez, that's really bad, actually. That's actually so bad. Uh... Which we hope has a solution at just three. Wait, hang on. Did I mess up the? Okay, I I, I am bad. Uh, this should be. Oof. Oh no. Okay, so I hope phi two is the only solution. <laughs> Okay, so this is like 16x cubed minus something times- Oh, does the expert coefficient cancel? Yes, okay, great. That, that doesn't actually help very much, but that's good to know. And then 4 minus plus 8, 12x plus 1. These numbers are actually really big. Something, something's already wrong, because it's not matching up. Did I mess up? I, I messed. I think I definitely messed up. What? What's? What, what should it be? There's a four x cubed. Uh, four x. Yeah, it, the four x cubed is there, right? 
So I moved that there. Why not take mod A and B? Uh, oh, that might have been useful. This seems right. Okay, I just have used my plugin x equals three. What do I get? I get like uh, 469, but that's not a perfect square, right? So, so like x equals three was supposed to be a solution, right? So I, I I feel like I made a calculation error at some point. Uh, I think how did you get the four x cubed? Uh, well, I multiply both sides by four, and then it's like four times that thing, and then four a squared is like x plus y all squared, and then four b is like two y minus x. Like three comma seven, I think is a solution to this. Um, it's like forty nine plus forty nine plus. Wait, no, it's not. What? Uh, uh Okay, yeah, yeah, something's wrong even here. Did I miss expand? I think I miss expanded. So two Y minus two X Y squared two X Y X squared. This is so messy, why not just take mods? Uh Oh, this should be a two. Freak. Well, I don't know. I can take mods later or something. But <sighs> Okay, so this is plus four. And then Oh, does mod just work? Okay, fine. Is that polynomial their factor? 16x cubed plus 3x plus 4? No, it doesn't. Alright. A divides. B plus B cubed and mod B. Okay, yeah, maybe I should have started with this. I think you might be right. A divides B squared plus one. Okay, so A. A divides B squared plus 1. So this means that A has only 2 or 1 mod 4 primes. But... I feel like I've actually seen this particular one before somewhere. Uh, it's like, I guess if like A is K times B plus 1, you can get some bound of some sort? No, that's not great. What's my opinion of JMO 2022 on the Canada training handout? That seems like suboptimal, but I mean, it ha this kind of thing just happens, right? Like there's there's a lot of problems out there. <sighs> Anyways, okay. Do you guys want me to just do the a equals kb plus one? I mean, I guess I could do that. It just feels meh. really. Ah. 
Okay, so... I don't know. I guess, like, the thing I was doing was sort of not using the co-prime condition at all. Like, if the problem was actually solvable over integers full stop, then I think there's a sense in which this is, like, has to work because... Uh, cubic curves are real bad. Um... But we can just do the KB plus one thing, I guess, because they, they were so kind to give us relatively prime. So... I, I feel like this is not that much cleaner anyways, but... Really? So why doesn't this, like... If it's solvable over integers... Oh, sorry. When I say solvable, I mean like solvable with elementary methods. In some sense, because what happens is like this is, uh... 16x cubed plus ax plus 4 I think doesn't have a double root. So this is actually an ellipt elliptic curve. Um, and like, those don't... There's no elementary way to deal with those, I think. Actually, wait. 4... I think I'm still mis-expanding. 8x squared... Plus, this is 16. Oh, Jesus. Okay, does that factor? No, it doesn't. Yeah. a nodal cubic. Uh, yeah, okay. So, we, I guess we do have to actually use relatively prime then. <laughs> uh, because otherwise, you have to go this route and then the, it's... The, the right side doesn't really do anything, I think. Like, the, the thing you hope for is that it factors or something like that, a la Yusumo 2015-1 or like Shortlist 2014-N2. But... Yeah, okay, so let's just go back to this. So if a equals kb plus 1, um, I don't like that. Th what, what if I just do kb plus 1 divides like b squared plus 1? Is that bad? Actually, for any given b, there should only be so many solutions to this. Uh, actually, I'm surprised there's only one. Really? Okay, I guess. Oh well. Okay, so that's that's not equivalent to the original, anyways. Let's let just do. I just expand this. Ugh, I don't want to expand. Okay, there's a suggestion in the chat which I'll take. So KB plus one implies it divides kb plus 1 divides kb squared plus k. Oh, actually, that's pretty good. And then that implies it divides... <sighs> oh, is this gonna work? Oh, no. I, I mean, that's fine. k minus b. Okay, so comment that out. Uh, if kb plus 1 divides k minus b, I guess that forces k equals b, right? <sighs> Alright, fine, this will work. So, like, a equals b squared plus 1. And at that point... Let's go ahead. 